With an FCTV with Chris Agata following today's 2-2 draw away at St Albans. Aggie, what were your thoughts on that one? Uh, what we said pre-match, like, tough, tough game. Um, especially where we lost a toss as well and you end up defending that slope. Uh, that's Whitehawk-esque, but the pitch is bigger. Um, so um, that was difficult. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I thought we played in moments rather than spells um, but those moments were excellent I mean the the equalizing goal was was outstanding um, it was some of the best football I've seen um, so that was really positive and I, and I thought in the main first half we were you know as I said we're not as dominant as we would have liked to have been but we you know we were um, good value for at least drawing the game and I thought we got in some great positions and worked the ball very well first half um, in moments and uh, yeah, no, it was loads to like. And then what I liked the second half was because uh, it is tough, right? Um, you see it. They lost last week, and they defended the slope second half. And Maystone got a late, late winner. So it, you know it's draining. It's physically, physically um, really challenging. I thought the lads again showed brilliant sort of resilience and mentality to to grind out. Um, what I think in the long term will look like a very good point against a very good side, and you know, on top of that, like we, you know, we've had a, you know, we've had a difficult um, day as well. Like prep wasn't ideal. Um, you know, we, we didn't get in the changing room till um, I'm doing a team talk till well gone two o'clock. So the players have um, had to put up a fair bit today, and they've, they've again just shown their mentality and their quality to to grind out a really really decent um, point, I think. Looking at those moments, that equalising goal, you've already mentioned it, but just, just to go in a bit more depth on that. I mean, if you were to probably, probably make a goal, it would look something like that, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's what we said to the lads after, um, after the game. The challenge is, is you know, we're, we're nowhere near our best, and that was a glimpse of what our best looks like, and the fact that we're already seeing that eight weeks into working together um, is exciting and um, you know I, I think if we can as I said turn those moments into spells and then spells into halves and those halves into games we will um, you know we'll be a very very difficult prospect to deal with um, and yeah the, the 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 goal was was outstanding but it, you know it it was five or six of those moments where I thought you know, that's, that's great football great football because as I said they're a decent side they're athletic they're powerful they've got good quality they come after us and um, you know I, I felt we dealt with that pretty well um, in the main and uh, yeah we were, we were we were very pleased with some aspects of the way that we played today and a quick word on Jack's bong as well I don't think I've seen anyone score three free kicks in a row yeah. just unbelievable isn't it Oh, it's, I've, I've, I've never known it. Like you get a free kick from 25 yards out, it's like winning a penalty. You think oh, that's a goal. We called it in the stand as well. It's um, it's amazing because pre-season he couldn't hit a barn door. So like he's obviously saving them up for when it matters. But like we said last week, um, big game player. And, but um, yeah, no, I, I think um, as I said, we'll we'll look back on this game and we'll be pretty pleased with with. Um, a fair bit of it and I think we see today with some of the results right it's uh, early doors it's about keeping the scoreboard ticking over and especially whilst as I said we're, we're relatively new together do you know what I mean it's um, you know if we can keep winning games and keep putting points on the board whilst we're still developing as a team we will uh, you know we'll we'll be more than all right and I think I think again like the away games it, it's tough but that's what we just said to the lads. It's um, it's all money in the bank, so to speak, um, which which again is exciting. A notable absentee today was Harrison Smith. Mm. Could you just give a quick word on, on him at the moment? Yeah, he's uh, he's um, he's had a problem with his groin. There's a couple actually. Um, so beard he had to come off because um, uh, you know, he's um, a slight hamstring issue as well. So yeah, no, I mean Harrison, we saw what he's all about when he came on at Western. Um, and uh, it's easy to say, but I think he probably would have had a bit of a field day today as well. Um, he's local to St Albans, so uh, he was, you know, we, he, we had to be, we had to restrain him to not play. But it was one of them. Whereas if we forced him through it today, we could look at losing him for six, seven weeks rather than taking a hit today and him hopefully being available for the next game. So, and you know, like 
um, like we saw last week, he's a very, very good player who's going um, to who's going to really help us do what we what we need to do. Looking at the next game, Hamill, um, another tough tough test in yeah. this part of the world. Yeah. What are your thoughts heading into that one? And will uh, Sam Beard and, and Harrison Smith likely be fit? Yeah, I think they should be all right. I mean, um, like I said, with Harrison, we you know it was, we could have forced it today, but it wouldn't have made sense longer term, like a bigger picture, but. Um, yeah, Beardy should be alright. He's, he's a machine, Beardy. So um, no, it just it's just uh, another tough game. Right? It's um, obviously another away game, and um, you know, but we go into it same as what we have the two previous games, looking to looking to win the game, confident that we can win the game. And there's been nothing in the the, the two games, uh, albeit we've only put four points on the board. There's nothing in those two games which certainly sort of deters us from thinking that we can go to Hemel and win. Thanks, Aggie. Thank you.